About a year ago, I began my study abroad journey. From staying in basically California my entire life, I decided to fly 5,953 miles away to live in a new country for the very first time. Then we arrive at I House, my dorm, for maybe a month or two. Definitely one of the dirtiest and smallest dorms I've ever lived in. Those beds were also super uncomfortable. So this is the closet. It's, I guess, spacious. Someone left the hangers. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because who knows how old they are. There's like a tiny little mirror inside. And then on the bottom, there's also some space for stuff. I don't really know what I put in there, shoes and whatnot. Kind of just throw, threw things in haphazardly. And more storage. Not that you could fit much in here, probably just more shoes. It's very long, but not very like, or it's very wide and not very long, which I don't think is very helpful. And there's one on the other side, and you can actually ask for a key if you wanted to lock this drawer specifically, but you also have to pay for the key. So there's no point for me. Um, so this is the desk, a lot of like shelf space, and then communal bathrooms in iHouse, and these are also very dirty. Um, there's a really strong sewer smell, which is kind of one of the reasons that I ultimately decided to move out. There's about six sinks total, and then they have the showers, and yeah. One thing to note is that this door does not lock, so you just kind of pray nobody walks in. And also, they're a little bit see-through, so you can kind of see the outline of the person showering next to you. The water pressure is, I think, really strong, and you have to click the button every couple of seconds so that the water comes back on, like those certain fountains. There is a lounge in I House. I think on every floor, there's water and a fridge. This is the elevator on the lobby. There's a can thing for someone at the front desk and a COVID test thing at the time that I was living there. Um, yeah, I also found it that nobody was at the front desk really often. There's not much in this area. I've never seen people sit there. There's a bathroom that I've actually used frequently because the bathrooms upstairs got clogged really often, but the ones downstairs nobody was using, so I would use that one. And as you can see, the laundry room is in the basement. And you have to buy a laundry card. I think it was like 2001 maybe, and then you have to load it with money. So I honestly don't remember what you do. I think you just click the button after paying money and it'll come out. And then there's a total of like three washers and three dryers in this room. And I think there's a couple more in the other room. And once again, I feel like the entire place is just pretty messy. 